here with me today I have a fully functional, fully automated mini M&M sorting machine. And today I'm going to show you how it works. There are three main parts of the machine. The hopper, which makes the M&Ms travel out one by one. The sensor that reads the color values and the sorter itself, which physically moves the M&Ms into the right category. After the M&M comes out of the hopper, the motor drags them into the sensor area. The sensor reads the M&M's color value five times for more accurate results. After that, the sensor finds the average of the values and determines what color the M&M is. This is a diagram of what the color values of each color are. After the sensor values have been determined, the free stage sorting mechanism steps into play. The sliding part of each segment moves depending on what color it is. For an example, if the color of the M&M is yellow, all stages will move to the right. If the M&M is blue, the first and second stage will move to the right, but the third stage will move to the left. After this, the M&M has been sorted. To help you understand how the machine works better, I made an animation on what would happen if a yellow M&M goes into the machine. Follow me through. The motors move stage 1 to the left, and the M&M falls into stage 2. Stage 1 retracts. Then stage 2 moves to the left, and the M&M falls out. Stage 2 retracts. That's the basic principle of how my machine works. Hope you understand that better now. My machine uses two power supplies, one to power the sensor and Arduino board, and the other to power the motors. I'll explain why. If only one power adapter was powering the whole thing, this will lead to unstable voltage through the color sensor, since the motors take up a lot of voltage. But since I have two powered adapters powering the motors separately and the color sensor separately, stable voltage goes to both the motor and the color sensor because they can't interfere with each other. This guarantees that the color values will be very accurate. I will leave the Arduino program in the description if any one of you want to access it. The parts that I used to build this machine are also in the description. Overall, this was a fun little school project. And as always, thanks for watching.